Hello everybody and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be creating a really fun soft spring look using the Dear Dahlia Blooming Edition for Dreamy Paradise collection. I have been loving this collection so much recently. It truly is dreamy. And today's video is actually in collaboration with Dear Dahlia, which is so exciting. They saw how much I've been loving this collection and they wanted to sponsor a video. So this could not be more perfect. In this collection, they came out with three beautiful blushes. These ones right here, they have this gorgeous gradient. I'm going to be swatching everything against my skin tone so you can see all of the items. Um, they also have the Lip Paradise Dream Balms, which are my favorite things from this collection personally. And of course, these gorgeous jelly eyeshadows. If you aren't familiar with Dear Dahlia, I did discover them around six months ago, and they're just a gorgeous, very aesthetically pleasing brand. You might know them better by their marbled packaging. And they're also vegan and cruelty free which is incredible so before we get into the makeup i'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it so i'm going to be starting off with my eyes then we'll move on to cheeks then lips so for the single eyeshadows these are the paradise jelly single eyeshadows and they have a really interesting texture there are three mattes and three glittery shades these are really fun because they have that pillowy texture that's kind of cream-like, but it feels like a powder when it's going on. And they give a really nice, soft, diffused look. These aren't going to be like full, full opacity shadows. They're meant to look like a sheer veil over your eyes. And the glitters are so beautiful. They're almost like toppers, but they're very, very impactful. You'll see in just a moment here. They were created to give you that really nice, soft, focused look. Um, and they kind of have like a blurring aspect too to your eyelids, which is fun. So I'm going to try to use as many as I can so you can see the colors against my skin tone. Um, I did swatch them all on my arms, which you would have seen already. I'm going to be first dipping into the shade Butter Beige, which is this gorgeous warmer tone. And I'm going to be laying this in my crease using this little fluffy brush. I'm now going to be taking the shade Terracotta Pink, which is a really cute terracotta pink. <laughs> it's almost like peach-like, but I like this tone because it's one of those fun colors that can pull more pink or orange or terracotta depending on the other tones you have going on your face. So I'm going to lay this, hmm, I think I'm gonna diffuse this all over the lid just to make the glittery shades pop a little bit more. Um, so I'm gonna take this flat brush from Dear Dahlia and I'm gonna Lay this all over my eye. Maybe to enhance the outer corner, I'll use this shade, why not? This is taupe brown, which kind of speaks to me on another level. I always go crazy for this type of color. It's a perfect crease color. Here, I swatched it right there again. Perfect neutral shade that would look great in your crease always for any eye look. I'm just gonna bring that on my outer corner just to enhance it right on the V. Now let's dip into some of these glittery shades. My most favorite one is vanilla, just because it's like the perfect topper and the glitters in here are all different colors. Let me see what's in here. There's like pinks and greens and golds. It's really, really pretty. And I feel like you could top this onto anything and it gives so much dimension. It's just so see-through, but so impactful at the same time. Just because I'm doing like a spring look, I might go into this pink color, which is the shade Rosy. I mean, like, look at that. They're all gorgeous. I'm gonna swatch all three, why not? They're really fun to touch. They have a super silky texture that is very pretty. The last one is Copper. I think I'm gonna put Rosy on the majority of my eye and then I might enhance the center with this and put this in my inner corner. So I'm first taking Rosy and I'm gonna throw that onto the entire look. I just wiped my fingers off and I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Vanilla and throw it into my inner corner before getting my finger contaminated again with Rosy. Ooh, that's a really pretty inner corner highlight. And I'm gonna throw this 
in the center. I'm taking a little tiny amount of it because I know this can be maybe a bit overpowering, so I'm just gonna layer it up to have more control. I think I'm happy with that. And I'm just gonna take that first brush I went in with to kind of scatter those glitters so there's no harshness. There's a little harsh line, but I'm gonna leave it there. And then for my lower lash line, I'm just gonna put on, uh, let's do the pink. I'm gonna put terracotta pink all throughout my lower lash line. There, okay, I'm just going to do this eye off camera real quick and I'll be right back. I also threw on some mascara and look how pretty these are. And you should see them in a low light setting. I'll try to find one around my house. They just glow beyond belief. Gorgeous, love them. Okay, so now let's move on to the blush. So they came out with three shades in the Paradise Soft Dream blushes. So joy, happiness, and pleasure. My personal favorite is joy. It just looks like a little sunset, it's so cute. And these are fun because you can get kind of like a three in one look with one blush. Because since it is a gradient, you can kind of aim your brush into either side or you can mix it all together for a mixed look. I wonder what color will suit this look most. This one could go for it, but I did use this in my last video, I believe. Um, so maybe I should try something else out. This one is so pretty too. It's just like a nice tone on tone one. And this one reminds me of sorbet or something. Uh oh, I wish this was live or something and I could get you guys to choose. <laughs> I feel like joy might just work the best. I feel like it matches the colors on my eyes already. This one will be too nudie, like it would work, but I, I want like a pink vibe. And I'm going to mix the two shades together. And this has a really nice silky powder blush formula. It glides on really nicely. It has like that diffusing quality to it as well, just like the eyeshadows. And I think they're perfectly pigmented. Oh no, there, there it is again. I haven't done that in so long. Perfectly <laughs> pigmented, where like you can build them up nicely, but upon first application, you still get a good amount of color. Okay, I think that was the right decision. <laughs> that is gorgeous. These just strike something within me. Like I love blush so much already. You guys already know that. So now let's move on to lips. And these are my top, top favorite from this collection. I've been using these pretty much every day. These are the Lip Paradise Color Bombs. I mean, I love the whole collection, but these I've been using the absolute most. I just wanted to mention a couple of my favorite shades. Uh, my favorites are Lauren, Julia, and Gemma. Today, I think I'm gonna try to do like a little ombre lip effect. I haven't done that in a while, so I'm gonna mix, I think, Gemma and maybe Natalie. Or maybe I should incorporate that orange one. That might be cool too, since I have like a little bit of a warmer crease color. Let's just experiment. I'm gonna do a couple ombre tests on the back of my hand. So that is that orange shade, Blair. And let's see what it melts into with Gemma, or maybe even Julia. So that's Gemma right there. I feel like they're a little too close in tone. Like I feel like I need something a bit deeper. Let's try Julia, it's a bit more vibrant. I have my heart on Gemma. I feel like that will work the best with this. So let's see with maybe even Cindy. So that was Natalie and Gemma. Let's see, Cindy. Maybe this option is the best. Let's just try it. Okay, I'm gonna start off with Gemma all over. These are some of the most lightweight tinted lip balms I've come across. Like they don't add like a really like occlusive layer to your lips. They feel like nothing's there when they're on. And now let's put on some of Blair in the center. So that's really fun if you did like a natural lip focus look. I feel like I would have rocked this if I went for this color all over with this blush and then this would be the pop of lip. That would have been really cool too. But I think it's just too much with this look. I'm just gonna opt for Gemma alone. And they're also nice because you can get like a super sheer application where it just looks like your natural lip tint color 
or you can build the color up, which I'm gonna be doing a little bit more today. Yeah, I think I'm the most happy with this. What do you guys think? I just quickly fixed my hair and here is the finished final look. I love these products all together. They're super effortless and easy to use. And I feel like this look looks like I put a lot more effort than I actually did. These are very user-friendly products um, and they're very effective. I'm just, I keep getting distracted by the glitters on my eyes. <laughs> they're so pretty. But I'm really excited to hear what you guys think of today's look. But before I go, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Dear Dahlia for sponsoring today's video. Uh, this collection is beautiful and it's been so fun to work with you guys. I will have the products I used in today's video in the description down below, so feel free to check that out and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!